Hey there everyone, my name is Andrew for Aurora Gameworks and welcome back to a quick Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Today's video we'll be taking a look at the camera shake functions. Um, you can use it for a whole range of things including things like the um, camera shake while you're sprinting in a uh, first person perspective for instance. But for today's example we'll be creating a camera shake to go with an explosion within our level. So the first thing that we're going to need for our camera shake example is we're going to need to grab our explosion from the starter content pack. So we're going to drag it down to here and uh, let's increase the scale a little bit. A nice big explosion. Um, now before we do anything else with it, we, we need to um, scroll down while we have it selected and we need to turn off auto activate because we want to control um, in this in this example um, when it goes off so we can show off our, our camera shake um, and now with it selected uh, let's go to our level blueprint and um, we're going to um, bind the bind the e e explosion to a a a press of the key like let's use the e key you have the key that you want to use uh, to press and now right click and because we have um, the explosion from before selected here we can just right click and create a reference to our explosion and now dragging off of it we can activate always make sure to have your stuff compiled and save it and now if we go into the level and we press our E key, we now have an explosion happening in the level. So now that we have a, a explosion happening, we can um, go and add our camera shake. So let's go to somewhere within our content browser. We're gonna right click, blueprint class. We wanna go to all classes and we want to get camera shake. Let's call it uh, cam shake. Let's open that up. We don't have to do anything um, in the uh, in the graph itself. We we only need to go to details and open these up. Now the only things here that that we are interested in for for our example is duration, blend in time, blend out time. And the yaw and pitch on the on the rotation oscillation. Um, so of course, camera shake can't happen in no time. So let's give our camera shake some time to exist in. Uh, let's make it one second, and you have a blend in and blend out time. Uh, I'm just gonna make the blend out time slightly bigger, and with. Uh, amplitude on uh, rotation oscillation for pitch and yaw. We're going to want to make our amplitude to one on each of these. And then for frequency, uh, we can use a number like 30. Around about that. So we can compile and save this. So now that we have our camera shake finished, we're going to go to our level blueprint again. We're going to get player controller and off get player controller we're going to type in client play camera shake on our shake uh, input node here we're going to select our camera shake and then we want to um, have our scale set and by default it's set to 10 but you could have it set to anything like we could set it to 10 or whatever number we want um, you could have a more advanced system that changes the scale of the camera shake depending on how far away uh, you are from the, from the explosion. So let's compile and save that. And now let's go back into our blueprint. And we stand over here, I press E, and our camera is shaking a lot. In fact, maybe quite a bit. And it's also got a very 
diagonal motion to it sometimes. So, in fact, we could actually go back to the camera shake and change the frequency slightly on these two. Like, we could make this one, uh, I don't know, 27 and this one 32 and then do something crazy like add a 0.1 to the amplitude on that, you know? Um, you know, a lot of it just takes a little bit of fiddling around to get it to exactly the way that you want it. Uh, we could go back to the level blueprint, let's say we change the scale to 5, you know, and then we go back and test it out, and press E again, and um, yeah, like the actual shaking of the camera itself to me looks slightly more randomized than it was before, which is nice. Oh, pressing E that time, the explosion actually didn't go off. Anyways, uh, thank you for watching this short tutorial. I hope it helped you in your project um, with any camera shake stuff. Um, I've been Andrew for Aurora Gameworks. Make sure to subscribe if you want more tutorials like this, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys.